My name is Jenny Greentree. I'm a wife, a mother, a daughter, a friend, a school teacher, but I've got this really exciting part of my life where I'm an artist who lives in the outback. I've probably been an artist all my life. I've always loved drawing. As a little girl, carried around a pencil and paper and pad, but seriously, I've been painting the last 10 years and I've had a gallery open for the last six. Bakkerberg Gallery is located in a little tourist village north of Burke. The village is called North Burke and we're on the banks of the Darling River. Steve is my husband and he has a major role in our business. I often tell people it's 20% me and 80% him. People come into the gallery and they'll look at the art and, and be in awe and you know, give me very encouraging comments. But he runs the business, he does all the administration, he does all the marketing, he does all the maintenance, he does all the framing, he does all the gardening, he holds the whole show together. So he is a major part of our business. I'm Steve Greentree and I manage Jenny Greentree, the famous outback artist from Burke. And we've built a business around Jenny's art a professional art and we use the gal the gallery is our retail outlet that builds her profile and connects us with our customers. The landscape throws up so many unusual things and it can be a fleeting moment or you know light hitting on something something the sun rising or setting but those unusual things that you can often see in nature they're the things that inspire me to paint. They usually excite me and then I just want to record it and share it with others. My preferred medium is chalk pastel. I used to be a watercolourist but a friend encouraged me to get into pastels because we've got such rivet, uh, rich vivid colours in the outback. And I remember I did the first one with her took me all day, I was in a big mess. I said, Nikki, that's the first and last pastel I'm ever going to do. Then I had the opportunity of having someone come and do a workshop in pastel portraiture. And from her, I started exploring how to use pastel. And now I find it by far the best medium to express what I'm seeing and experiencing. We have a spring exhibition every year in our gallery ever since we've had it open. So at Bakkerberg Gallery, there's usually something going on in October or November. Two years ago, though, my spring exhibition was at Parliament House in Sydney, where I exhibited with some other Outback artists. And, and that was a great way of showing the people of New South Wales particularly, particularly the city people, that they have their own Outback in their state. The Journey to Lake Air exhibition, which we have here in November 2012 in Brisbane, had its genesis back in our gallery in mid-2009. Graham and Debbie Reed from Travel West Tools, uh, they brought their 20-seater tour bus into our gallery. They were talking to Jenny about their upcoming uh, air tours to Lake Air. It really took Jenny's attention. She said, wow, I'd really love to be able to go on that. The Journey to Lake Eyre exhibition came about after I did a flight across the Channel Country, down through all the river systems and over Lake Eyre in 2009. It was one of the most amazing days of my life and so I just wanted to record it. The passion for it never stopped over the whole three years that I was thinking about it and putting it together. Every time I looked at my photos, I was excited again. When I began painting, though, I wasn't understanding some of the things I was seeing in my photos, so we then did it as a ground trip. And I collected sand and found the flowers that were making the purple areas. And it was better to understand everything that just helped me to put it together better. But as I started thinking about it and everything more and more, I realised that this is an amazing Australian story that has to be told. And to be able to tell it through these artworks is such a privilege. I've seen it 
wet, dry, with things growing. I've seen it from the air, I've seen it on the ground. It's such a remote part of Australia and yet Lake Eyre is such a mystery to most Australians. So it's been wonderful to be able to put it together as an exhibition and share it. <laughs>